Oh. And we're back Jen, at the Jen. SolidWorks Live booth in the 3D Experience Playground at 3D Experience World 2020. I'm joined here in our live studio set by longtime favorites of the show and other hosts who've been on the show, Mark <laughs> Schneider and Michael Steves. Welcome, guys. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, Jeremy. So you guys have been given a, a different task here at 3D Experience World this year. Mark, I think longtime attendees of the show probably know what, what, you do, what you usually have running here. Why don't you tell the folks at home? Sure. So for 21 years now, we've run a contest called Model Mania. And what Model Mania is is a design contest where we give you a drawing and ask you to model a part. Once you model that part, then we give you another drawing and ask you to make changes to that part and run a quick simulation. You can use Simulation Express or Simulation, either one. Very simple little simulation, just something to click through it. Um, we wanted to expand the uh, traditional Model Mania SolidWorks challenge that we've had forever. So what we did is we've extended it and created the 3D Experience challenge for Model Mania as well. And Mike was looking after that. I just got to so, say, Mark, every time you talk about Model Mania, I see the 20-minute timer in my head. <laughs> my hands start to get a little shaky, a little sweaty. <laughs> Those I, nerves I start saw, to kick I in. I saw your tweet. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your tweet. So, Michael, tell, tell us a little bit about what's different at Model Mania this year and what the 3D Experience Challenge is all about. So, the 3D Experience Challenge is a community-driven challenge. Uh, it's an opportunity for any attendees at 3D Experience World to come try out some of the, the new apps that we've been introducing over the years, like X-Design yeah. and X-Shape. Um, and also leverage the power of communities, 3D Swim. Uh, so, what what someone may experience when they come up. And we have a video that we can take a look at here. Sure. That you're going to come up. I've got a very basic drawing that people can take a look at. And this is an open competition. It's not behind closed doors this isn't like, like the, the traditional, traditional model mania where Mark says we give you a drawing and you got to create the part. Right, give so. you it blind. This one, you get, you know, you get it, you can see it ahead of time. Yeah. Sure. You can start. see the part. And it's very basic. So <laughs> the question that I, the challenge that's out there is can you improve the aesthetics of this part? Okay. Right. What are you going to do that makes this look interesting? Are you going to add additional features? Are you going to assemble it to the rest of this VF2 foot? Um, get your put your own flair on it. You can put your own flair on it and use it multiple apps. So we did a little app switch there from X design to X shape, um, model in the, the sole of that foot. But here you can see a variety of examples that people have done designing covers, you know, soles. Uh, you can change the background. You can colorize this thing. You can turn off edges, variety of things here. And the last step, you share it to the community. You put your name, your company on there. This publishes it out um, as uh, an image. So what people are doing is they're calling it Model Mania. In the description of it, they put their name and their company. And then from this point, you go in and you can, I've got a little QR code that people can scan right at the booth. Sure. They scan it. They can open up the community right on their phone, right then and there, log in with their SOLIDWORKS ID or their 3D experience ID if they have it, and be able to, to find their post. They can search for it because we're getting a lot of entries right now. I mean, this... this Seems to be pretty popular this year. This good. is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so they find it. They can leave it a like. They can click on that link, and they have a unique URL to their post, so they can share it out on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, cool. back to their coworkers that weren't able to make it um, to solicit their likes. Uh, it's because the part of this challenge, who wins? Person with the most likes win. Mm. So we have. A, so we're the doing person a with the three. biggest social network wins. <laughs> well, we'll it's see. It's a popularity. Contest. It is a popularity <laughs> contest. So that's right. So the top three um, of our attendees at 3D Experience World have a chance, or will will be awarded, and then the top three in the reseller community of those attendees that are here. So a very similar, Mark, to how you've run the traditional model mania. You kind of. There's a, a different group for attendees and resellers. That's correct. That's correct. Keep those two separate. The resellers compete against resellers. The users compete against users. And actually, Jeremy, what's interesting, over the last couple of years, we used to think, in the early days, we thought, okay, the resellers are highly trained. They're out doing demos all the time. They might, might be better than the users. Any more, the users have, have uh, exceeded. Get the faster times. Get the faster times than the resellers, yeah. It's, it's really cool to see. Well, the other fun thing to see is, and we've seen this already a couple times, is you know, two coworkers from a company of a customer show up at the same time, or two people from a reseller come up, 
and they, they go into Mark's booth and it's always interesting to see who comes out first and if they have a smile on their face or if they... The guys from <laughs> CAD who are yeah, on stage Yeah, I sent this Jesse morning. Hahn and Mark uh, McCauley over there earlier today. They and, both uh, were side by side. They both started about the same time and we heard a couple of comments over the wall to each other. Oh, I thought it was supposed they to be... They had a good time. Uh, they, okay. they had a good time. Uh, so... um. I'll start with you, Mark, when we look at, like, the normal model mania here, you know. Um, so for the folks at home who don't, get the, who don't have the opportunity to be here, some people might want the opportunity to partake in the model mania, model mania design challenge. And though they may not be able to go into a booth and seal themselves off and have the pressure of a timer on them, they can go through and go through all the examples from years past. Right. Why don't you tell us where we can go find that information? Very easy. All you have to do is go to mysolidworks.com, type in Model Space Mania, search for Model Mania. On the left-hand side, it allows you to filter for blogs and Twitters and, and things like that. Yep. Just tick the blogs. The very first blog that will pop up will be the 20 years of Model Mania uh, post there. And on that, on that blog post there, there's uh, links to all the PDFs of each drawing, phase one, phase two drawing. And there's also a video. So the solution video is there. And Jeremy, you put together the first 14 Yeah, uh, several years ago. I was, always a, I was always a big fan of Model Mania. Yeah, prior we're to a past two-time winner. I have. Michael, two-time winner. Yep, prior to me working here. So... Yep. Um, <laughs> That's not the, yeah, there we go. That's the blog post we're looking for yeah. right there. So if you scroll down <laughs> on that one, uh, yeah, let's, I know you want to get yeah, 20 years. Down Keep a little scrolling bit here. We might have to click into that blog post. We'll click okay. into that blog post, the uh, first one, very first one, up, up, up above that. Yeah, yeah click so that's there. where you there can see go. the past uh, 20 years. Yeah. All those parts from over the 20 now, years. Now scroll yeah. down a little bit. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, all the way at the bottom. There you go. Oh, uh, that's this year. This that's year. what we're doing this, this year. Blog. That's check the 3D out this tech blog for the yep. yeah. Check out anyway, yeah, yeah, the blue, the we'll bold blue text there. This link right there, that hyperlink. I should be running this up, off. Yeah. Up, yeah. Okay. up, up. <laughs> so off the page. Oh, whatever. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's okay. Go to, anyway, they go can to go there. They can go, yeah, they can go there. They can go to the blog. They'll be able to see all the examples from years past. Yep. You have published all of the what we call the stage one drawings. We kind of go through and do that. Uh, they create the part. And then the stage two drawings as well. And we you know, call it phase one, phase, phase two, one, Jeremy. Phase You've been two. out of it for you ever. <laughs> I still for do them every year. Two, you when do. You send you, them out you ahead you of do. time. Absolutely, you do. You so do well. I'll tell you. Uh, you know, one of the things I always find interesting is there's two things you've you've got to always remember. The first one is is when it comes to phase two, you never know what this mad scientist is going to do. <laughs> the first phase is I can do, I can model this That's part easy. up pretty quick. This will be pretty easy. And then he hands you that second sheet, and the sweat beads start <laughs> rolling down your face. The hands start shaking. And we want to make it a challenge. And what's the second thing most people forget to do? What's the number one reminder we tell people to do So here? always tell people on phase one to enter the material. One of the things we've done for the last two years is I put in the little uh, rec uh, timing program and, uh, a, ch a, a box that makes them enter the weight. Yep. So... You think that if someone says enter the weight and they have not applied the, me the proper uh, material, then they're going to go back to their model, apply the material, extract the weight, and put it into the box. So they can't move forward until they enter a weight. And I tell yeah. them when they sit every time, don't forget to apply material. Cool. I've done it. I've been guilty of that in years past. <laughs> it's like I go to phase two and it's like. You got to do everything you kick on up drawing that simulation. Once. It's like you it, need a material. It's oh, I forgot to apply the material. You got to do everything on the phase one drawing, and you got to model it. And it says, "Here's your material. You know, all dimensions are millimeters. Apply this material." What's the number one rule in the real world? Drawings got to be parts got to be accurate, right? Amen. Accuracy is number one. Time is actually. Uh, yeah, it's important, but yeah. accuracy is number one important. So. Yeah, if you get it out in the shop fast and it's wrong, the shop's going to come after you, and it's going to take longer to get it all done, right? Yeah. So, Michael, let's go to you. Let's talk <coughs> about the 3D experience design challenge that we're doing here. So, Mark has a blog post. We saw on the blog you've kind of highlighted what's going to be happening there. Are you going to provide some of the setup? You have a nice little setup over there. You have a primer video that people can come and watch, kind of get familiar a little bit with it, and then you've got the initial challenge. You're going to make this available on the blogs as well for yeah and I'll, and I'll talk a little bit about how it was set up too because all of this was leveraging the 3d experience platform because what i've able to do is some, you know a little bit different from what mark has to do to set up for his event is i've been able to do this all on my set up a dashboard for me 
what experience do I want to have for people that come up and sure. walk up to it? I just set up one dashboard. So it has the instructions. It has the, this blog post that we're talking about. It has the official rules of the contest. Very so cool. they can click through this. And I only have to set that up once. And it has you know the X Design widget, the app already in there. Yeah. It has the collaborative space where it has the pre-built assembly in there that they can use. All that's ready and set for them. So all I have to do is share that to the accounts that we're using over there. You log in on those computers. Everything you have is there. You don't have to install any software. You don't have to install anything to make everything work. It it's, just it works. It just works. Yeah. So, you know, if anybody's interested, how can I get started? And you might be like, well, I have SolidWorks, but I don't have 3D Creator, and I don't have 3D Sculptor. Uh, this morning at General Session, we actually announced really cool an opportunity to come and try 3D Sculptor and 3D Creator. Again, if you go to mysolidworks.com, on the very first page, there'll be a link to try it, get signed up. There's an option to buy it there. And we were told the QR code, we should have a, a try it uh, QR code that'll be on that yep. page for folks as well to uh, give that an opportunity. So there's nothing to stop you from participating in your design challenge, though they may not be here at 3D Experience World 2020. But what, get and the there's all, right those, there. all those demo videos that are available that walk you through that you and yep. uh, Michael and Jeremy both put together. Nope, you want to stay right where you were. Scroll things. right back up. That link right there, you have uh, right there, the 3D Experience World offers. You can try 3D uh, Creator and 3D Sculptor, cloud-based design solutions there. So really cool, easy to get into, really getting people encouraged yeah, no, to try these new tools out. No software installation, this runs in a browser. Yep, that's the, that's the nice thing. You know, you, uh, you can do this on any computer. Yeah. Mark Peterson and I were up here uh, earlier, we were talking about he had a yoga, I had this in tablet mode. It's just really easy to fire up and work wherever you want to work. Well, it's really cool what I've set up with the 3D Experience Challenge over there is like when I have when I have someone that's getting ready to make their post to the community, I can validate it right on my phone right away that, you know, I go to that community. If you go to SolidWorks.com slash 3DXW20, um, that takes you right to this 3D Experience World Community. And everyone, everyone at home, Anybody can access yeah. to it. If you have a SolidWorks ID, you can log in. If you have a, if you don't, you can create yep, an account. Yep. So you'll have to create a SolidWorks ID to get in there. Yep. So. You can create an account right then and there, um, and it takes you right to the community. So this is where other event uh, and then they notifications can use are the hashtag to search for monomania entries and hit hit the like button. Yep. They can, and I can see their post right away. See if they did it right or not, and be cool. like, oh, missed your name. I'm not going to know it was you, kind of deal. Uh, so I'm able to qualify that right from my phone. And some guy asked me, he's like, but so tell me more about this X design thing that's going on. How is it running? Did you have to install? No, we already talked about that a little bit, but I was able to just simply go to the compass right here on my phone. It's like, yeah, I opened up your assembly right here and we can make changes to it if you want. Very cool. Um, so they have the entirety of this. The folks here who are at 3D Experience World have today and tomorrow, and they had last night as well to do, partake in both of these challenges. In fact, we're going to be joining the both of you again. It looks like Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. Yep. Central Time. We're going to go over to your booth where this actually takes place. In the partner in the oh, partner sorry, theater. Yeah, in the partner theater. In the partner theater. Lunchtime. We're going to go over to the partner theater, and you're going to announce the winners for both the traditional model mania and the 3D experience. And we'll run through challenge. the solution. Everybody always likes to see the solution. Somebody was right. telling me before, it's like, yeah, I, I always like sitting in the audience when you show the solution because there's all kinds of moans and groans of people say, <laughs> Oh, oh, why I didn't I do it, done that, it way. that way? I, didn't, I forgot about that. And part of the whole, you know, model mania that we've done over the years and, and showing these solutions is we want people to learn a little something. You know, maybe, oh, I, f I forgot that we had that, that, you know, that feature could do it that way. Or I didn't know SolidWorks could do this. So hopefully they learn a little something over the years. There's that post. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for taking a few minutes out of your day. I know you're extremely busy. I've seen that your booths have been jam-packed with people lining up to do both of your challenges over there. I'm sure tonight as we get into the reception, it's It'll going be to be crazy busy for the both of you. Michael, thanks for joining us here. Mark, thanks for joining us yep. here. And stay tuned on SolidWorks Live. We're going to be coming to you back in just a few minutes with Christine Getman from Magic Wheelchair.